Hey everyone, here's a look at our folded paper transitions. I'm super excited to showcase this new pack of over 35 paper transitions that come as both an easy to edit After Effects template and motion graphic templates for Premiere Pro. I'm gonna walk you through how easy it is to use these transitions in Premiere Pro first. If you wanna check out the tutorial video on the After Effects project file to customize these transitions further from a timing perspective, go ahead and click here. Otherwise, let's drop in. When you download and unzip the pack, it's gonna come with three folders. You're gonna get your project folder, which is your After Effects project file right here. Your assets, which are some placeholder images. And then these are the folded paper JPEG images that we animated. Uh, and then you get your folder full of 36 motion graphic templates, these Mogurts right here. I'm gonna show you how to easily import these into Premiere Pro. Click on your window and go to Essential Graphics. Then when you highlight all of your Mogurt files, you drag and drop them into your Essential Graphics panel right there. Boom. I've already done that. So let's go ahead and get cooking a little bit from here. Scroll down to find them. And you simply click and drag them into the timeline. So let's drag, click and drag the first couple. Typically on an edit, I like to just drag all of these into the sequence so that you can easily just view them a little bit more. And here they are. Super cool. Easiest way to use these is simply drag and drop them over the cut of two clips. Just make sure there you go. You got your transition in, covers the cut, and you got your transition out. And you can easily just, here's your media placeholder right here. So you go over to your project panel. I've imported my folder paper JPEGs here. I'm just gonna drag and drop this in there as the first step of two steps. Then you simply click on this and you say open in timeline. This will pull up a new timeline. And from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste the second clip into the motion graphic timeline. And there you go. It will automatically register. And if you get this kind of black frame around it, you simply just wanna go right click, set to frame size, and that will scale it up to the appropriate frame size and that will register. There you go. That's the most basic way to use these transitions and it works both with video files in here or a JPEG, right? So you're not limited to one or the other. Another cool way that you can use these transitions is on a single clip. So let's say I wanna to transition to the beginning of this clip right here and after she blows the smoke, I wanna cut and as soon as she opens her eyes, have that be another transitional moment. And then as she goes to smoke the cigarette, that could be another one. So let's go ahead and take this third paper fold transition. And what I wanna do is I want to, once again, I'm just gonna click and drag this into the media placeholder as a quick template, open in timeline. I'm gonna copy and paste this next clip into here. Again, if we get the, the frame border, because the video file is not 4K, this is a HD clip, right click and set to frame size. And then you can go ahead and see that. So super cool and dynamic. You can cut up a clip multiple ways to just get really unique mixed media effect. And really the, how you cut and slice these is up to your imagination. You can also stack these as well, right? So you could go from one transition to the next to the next. So you could build on these as well. That's totally an option. And then obviously we've included the folder paper JPEGs as well. A nice feature of these is you can drag and drop this on top of your video footage or your photos in the timeline. Click on it, go up to your blend mode in the opacity section, go down into screen, and you can have a nice paper overlay on top of your video footage, right? So you can transition into that effect. You stack it underneath. So there's a lot of versatility with these and they're super cool to get just an incredible mixed media effect 
I hope that you guys will enjoy this. If you want to customize these transitions further, check out this next tutorial in the After Effects project file, and I'll show you how to lengthen the transitions to customize the duration of them, re-export them as additional Mogerts, or to export as a video clip and use in DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut Pro. Thank you so much.